Arkansas Ute Matt Gay to get this one started. And we are underway from Santa Clara. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. Drive begins with a carry by Davis Price. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. With well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Now Garoppolo. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Garoppolo now. Open man is Juwan Jennings. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Throwing now is Garoppolo. Called in left side here by Jennings. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. Second down, here's Davis Price. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Garoppolo. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And the 39-year-old veteran puts it right through, and the 49ers take a 3-0 lead. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at about the 32. Off the fake to Akers, here's Stafford. And the hook up here to Allen Robinson. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That one goes for 30 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Stafford's throw pulled in by Robinson here. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. First down at Stafford. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. That is Nick Bosa from out on the edge who worked his way in for the sack. I think every player in the NFL would want to come back from injury as Nick Bosa did last season. 15 and a half sacks, fourth in the NFL after playing in only two games the prior season due to a knee injury. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. These Rams and Niners met three times a season ago. The Niners had the Rams number in the regular season, winning 31-10 in Santa Clara, and then again 27-24 in overtime in the season's final week. But the Rams got the last laugh in the NFC Championship game with that 20-17 victory. 14 yards is the pick up there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. And Gay knocks this one through, and that will tie us at 3-3. Three, three. Three, three. 
So matching field goals on our opening two drives. Yeah, it feels like two boxers feeling each other out here in the early going of the game, right? Exchanging some jabs, but none of the heavy stuff just yet. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. Drops this underneath for Davis Price. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That one goes for eight yards. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. To throw, it's Garoppolo. Open man is Samuel, complete. Call it a gain of three on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. 11, 11. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. He juked him. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Rams will go on offense here with a first and 10. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. And at least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. After four years each in Jacksonville and Chicago, Allen Robinson made a big jump by joining the reigning champs. Hoping to shake off career lows from last season and get back to being a catch machine. Here's a catch for him there and a first down pickup. Now a first down throw. Stafford has caught. It's been Skoranek. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Back to back good plays. Have him on the move on first down. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Stafford completes it to Robinson. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 23. These two teams all tied after one. They'll run on first down with Akers. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off a place like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Stafford now to throw. Open man is Skoranek. He's got it. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and 10. 
And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the six. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Cam Akers, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Rams have moved out in front. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead is now 10 to 3. So that drive goes eight plays. And it was Cam Akers who capped it off with a touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Just a lone field goal for them so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. That's what love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. They're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now a play fake, Garoppolo. And he lost the football. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. This offense, thankful, I'm sure, to have the football back. But also, Charles, after a long drive of their own, they've got to be a little weary. Yeah, I would agree with that. And what you have to do to combat it, try and get fresh legs in where you can, especially to skill positions. And then for the offensive line, instead of attacking, maybe slow the tempo down a little bit. Let them catch their breath. On first and 10, Stafford. Going to let one fly for Robinson. Touchdown! Allen Robinson, 42 yards. And the Rams are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead is now 17-3. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Garoppolo able to find Samuel there for a Niners first down. defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain and the defense not able to get it from, from a defensive perspective what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose it is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football this is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game and you probably talk about this training camp knock the ball free take it away from the other team and now you have that chance it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. Gets it out wide to Davis Price. And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away.
It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. And that will come the offense as they take over. Allen Robinson of the Rams with the football once again. He's up over 100 yards, has the touchdown. He's, he's a big-time receiver in this league, so the question becomes, how do you limit him going forward? Well, you know the guys trying to cover him? They haven't had a whole lot of success thus far, and, and while they will still accept the challenge, maybe you have to change your focus. You have to get after the quarterback a little bit, disrupt his timing, because right now it feels like pitch and catch. Make sure he's not able to have clear sight lines to him, and maybe that'll slow him down. And yeah, this is not the guy you want to let play pitch and catch. And credit the tackle to Samuel Womack. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Well, a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. It fell incomplete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A couple of vets, Stafford to Robinson there, first down Rams. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. Fred Warner, first time all pro in 2020, in on the stop defensively. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Now a throw from outside the pocket, complete out left. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A big play on the catch and run, covering 34 yards. Big plays are starting to become the trend here in this first half, and everything that they've tried has worked. And there's another example right there. Being chased out left. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. So roughing the passer there, a big mistake defensively. Yeah, and even though you've got a quarterback out of the pocket and the rules change downfield, that doesn't mean the same rules don't apply with the QB. Anything more than one step, they're going to throw a flag on you every time. From the red zone now, Stafford. And that is incomplete. So many times I advocate not challenging coverage downfield, but on this play, I thought he made an excellent decision to actually do so. If that had been complete, that would have been one for the highlight reel. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Flushed out right. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Gay's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know, there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no wind, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held down and forced the field goal. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. 
Looking to throw again on second down. Garoppolo, the first catch of the game for George Kittle. The 20. A big play there on the catch and run. 67 yards. No surprise he was targeted on that play because you and I both know quarterbacks like guys who catch the ball, but they actually expect that. They love the guys who do something with it after the catch. They're impressive making him miss on that tackle attempt. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On second and goal, Garoppolo. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. A five-yard touchdown catch, and the 49ers get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Gold with the extra point, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And it's Debo Samuel who caps things with a touchdown reception. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to go again. Here's Cam Akers in the L.A. offense. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who have been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys on the other side of the football. And they've moved them out of the way for the runner. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellas. Not an easy thing for them to do. Stafford on first down. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Stafford. Oh, into a sea of defenders had intercepted. Picked up by Talanoa Hufanga. And the 49ers are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20 yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A good gain on first has them set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Garoppolo's throw pulled in by Kittle. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A good pickup, but it will come on what should be the final play in this first half. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. So we've come to halftime. It's the visiting Rams taking the lead to the break. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Well, the Rams going to get the football first here, and they look to build on their lead as the second half gets started. The Rams' offense ready to begin quarter number three. 
And they got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. And I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. He's got a man complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete, and they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Looking underneath, he's got Akers. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And the Rams are going to have a first and goal as he's able to take this inside the 10 to the 8. Here's Stafford. Touchdown, Rams! Matthew Stafford finding Cooper Cup for the touchdown there. And the Rams take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Stafford's going to try and throw for it. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And that bumps their lead up even further. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And their halftime hold now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. So the completion good for just three. And yeah, that's going to set up a tough third and nine. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. From the gun on third, Garoppolo. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, They've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Here's a run on first down that doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, he's going to be tackled behind the line for a loss of one. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Second down, and again, it's Davis Price. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he's on to kick it away. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 30. 
So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. Getting set to go again, Matthew Stafford trots back onto the field. And the numbers for the last drive, and he was perfect, which maybe isn't surprising because he has not missed a pass in this game yet. And it lets you know just how precise things have to be for a quarterback to be perfect because that means the line's blocking really well. No one's dropping any of the passes thrown to them. And the quarterback is accurate. It's almost like a pitcher throwing a no-hitter or a perfect game, isn't it? He's the principal guy, but he needs a lot of help. Time to find out if he can keep that perfect game going here, partner. Second and 10, Stafford again. That would complete to Skoranek. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. And give him a gain of 37. I'm seeing a lot of guys shaking their heads on defense right now, particularly in the secondary. And when you see that going on, that is never a good sign. But it's understandable. They've been shredded so far. Stafford hooking up with Akers. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. Here's a run with Akers on second down. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Here's Stafford. Steps away to his left. So no sack, he gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it'll still bring up a fourth down. Fourth down, and we go from one mat to another. Stafford heads off, Matt Gay gets set for the Rams field goal. And Gay knocks this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. Three more points tacked on at this margin, getting more comfortable by the minute. And with the lead where it is, you can actually feel good about field goals. We talk all the time about scoring sixes, not threes. But in this case, they're just looking to chew up some time and come away with points. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. A jet sweep. Garoppolo taps it forward. Nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Before they can get the punt away, whistles as we've come to the end of the third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Go, go, go. 45, 45. Now Garoppolo got to have this one. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Rams get the football in outstanding field position.
Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs, the most recent example. And now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless, take care of the ball on the way out. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. On second and ten, Stafford. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? Robinson's got it. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Henderson is going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. San Francisco's offense returns to the field. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. Garoppolo now, first down throw. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. After the interception, here's Stafford. He's got Cooper Cup on the slam. Room here to run. Down the sideline he goes. Touchdown. Cooper Cup, his second touchdown of the night. And the Rams start to open this lead even wider here in the fourth. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Davis Price hit, and he fumbles it. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And they are going to score on the fumble return. Touchdown, L.A. And that's got to be so disappointing for a defense. You, know, you force the fumble, 
think you got a chance at a turnover, and instead, not only do you give up the football, you also give up a touchdown as well. Yeah, you just think to yourself, you've done all the hard work, right? You forced the fumble, but when they didn't come up with it, I think they relaxed a little bit or maybe lost their focus as well, and it ended up turning out to be a touchdown against them. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. Out on the field now, here come the 49ers. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. Oh, the return is Powell. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. A 46-yard punt, eight yards on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 26. Back to throw, Stafford. He's got his man on the crossing route. And past the 40. Bounds. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive. Good for 15 and a first down. Well, partner, nothing but praise for me for this offense. They have been tremendous all night long. They knew what they had to do to unlock the defense. And let's face it, this has been a master class in offensive football that we've been here to witness. Able to force him out of the pocket right, but still able to complete it. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. A give up the middle to Akers. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. 79 yards rushing for Akers, and this is a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. On first down, Stafford here. He's got Higby complete right side. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. From the shotgun, here's a give to Akers. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. Going right back to Akers. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. Dancing to his left. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Matthew Stafford, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Rams add six more to their point total. And they're on cruise control right now here in the fourth. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. 
Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton. And, and try to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. Picked off by David Long. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Well, this game was already decided, Charles, let's be honest. But now another feather in the cap of this defense as they pick him off for the second time. You're right about that. Things have been going pretty well for them, to put it mildly. But they're still out there hunting for big plays and get another one right there. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. They'll run here with Akers. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. From the two now, second and goal. Akers again, and they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Even though they've got this big advantage, Charles, they are not taking their foot off the gas pedal right now. Well, I think what we're seeing is the result of all their great preparation and great practice time during the week. And even though it seems like this is a great chance to pull people back and maybe, you know, not try and score a few more times, they don't want to do that. I think they're enjoying what they're seeing, the collective effort, and they want to play it all the way out. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. This offense returning out there, and really, you remember the last drive, Charles, it was over before it even began. They threw the interception on the very first play. And what that means is for all these guys, it's been a while since they've been out there going full speed. So they've got to get everyone back out there, run a couple of your go-to plays. Make sure you get your offense oiled up a little bit. They've got to be able to start fast, but they've got to be efficient as well. Especially the quarterback. Let's go, let's go. Throwing again on second down. Garoppolo looking for the out route. He's got it. Complete to Kittle. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard. But they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives. And I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way that this game is gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. 49ers have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. They'll go again here with Akers. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. A gain of two, just like we saw in first and second down as well. Deuce is wild. Here's Riley Dixon now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. And as this defense walks off,